Now let's talk a little bit about display style overrides, and then we'll talk about those elevation patterns. So I'm actually just going to open the display styles dialog. Now, in the drawing presentation, there are display styles assigned to the cut and forward view and, and possibly even the back view. And the display style that is assigned to the drawing presentation determines various display options, such as whether the drawing is a visible edge line drawing, or it could even be a filled visible edge colored drawing. It can also be used to override the re-symbolization of the family and part system. So let's just look at this cut drawing. So that's what we're currently using on, on this drawing for the cut plane. You can see the display is set to visible edges, meaning I'm just going to get lines, right? If I did filled visible edges, it would start to color elements in. I've got geometry maps turned on. Now geometry maps are the way that we're going to do those patterns on the forward view, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. But then you'll see the, the category here for overrides. So if I pull this down on the element, you can see there's no override set. Nothing's checked on. That means that whatever is set for the family and parts, that's what's determining the symbology. And, and the same is true for, for the visible edges. But if we take a look here at one of the others, so let's look at this cut drawing half tone. Right? These settings are the same, but if we go to the element, you'll notice there is a color override turned on, and it's set to a gray color. What that's going to do is override any color setting in the family in part and make it gray. So we end up with a gray scale drawing. Maybe we need that for instance for a background drawing. And we could just, without having to change anything in the family in part, we could just change our display style on the drawing and we'd have a half tone drawing. And, and you would do the same for the visible edges. And just for another example, I've set up one here, which I call example back drawing dashed. Same idea, except my override here is, well, not only the color, which again, I'm using a gray color, but the style. So I'm setting the line style of all the lines in the back view to a dashed. So I'm using this display style when I want to show on my floor plan elements above that are dashed. And so it's really creating that back view, but making all the elements dashed and, and a weight zero. So I'm really overwriting everything. So let's go back to our presentation and kind of see what those look like. So let's set both this forward drawing half tone and this cut drawing and we'll select OK, and again, we'll reload. So you see how it, it makes everything that gray tone. So you really have that half tone background drawing. But be aware, it does override everything. You notice our, our center lines have been changed, our hatch patterns are changed, everything gets changed or re symbolized when you, when you use those display style overrides. Now let's try the other one. I'm going to set this back to just forward drawing and cut drawing. And I'm going to turn on the back view. So we're going to do a reflected back view and I'm going to use that example back drawing dashed. We'll select OK and reload. And you'll notice now that, for instance, over all of our door openings, we get a dashed line indicating you know, the wall above. If we had any ceiling soffits, you can see here I'm, I'm even picking up an exhaust fan, which is in the ceiling. Now, if I didn't want to see that, we can always click and do a 
hide cached element. So if I picked up a few things I didn't want, right, easy enough to hide them from the drawing. It's just a right press on an object and you can select hide cached element. because I have the mechanical drawings referenced here. It's also, you can also control how high up you look. That's with your, your clip volume when you create the view. So I set this to, to basically look up about nine feet and it's probably just catching those on the ceiling. Now you may be wondering, okay, now that I've hid those, what if I, I needed to, to turn them back on? So I'll just quickly Right, if we go up to our references, there is a toggle here which says display hidden elements. You can see when I toggle that on, I can see those and it gives me the option then to unhide that cached element. And then I'd go back to the reference and hide them again. And if I wanted to turn it off again, <laughs> go ahead. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.